Every once in a while we have the good fortune of coming across something so unimaginably beautiful that gravity is weakened and one's spirits lift into the great open expanse of heaven. But it isn't death I speak of, but life, airy life that rumbles victorious behind a beating breast. We are lucky that in our lifetime we are afforded maybe a hundred such occurrences. Some result in romance, most but a fleeting glance, a breath of fresh air to put a little pep in one step. And sometimes that is enough to know something is beautiful, that it exists without inspiring any desire to love or be loved. Think of it in all its aesthetic as art in a gallery open to the public, beyond possession from all but memory, a thing to be admired and left alone in its God-given privacy. That's beautiful, man. Um, what the hell are you talking about? Hey. Yo. Seriously? Again? Nah. talking about love in the time of cholera by marquez that's the one okay okay let's let's start over <clears throat> there has been a great many books that i have read throughout my life none so powerful as gabriel garcia marquez's love in the time of cholera it is a book that is near and dear to my heart, mainly because it proves I have a heart, a heart that beads, beads, I said beads, a heart that beats and bleeds despite all the world's ironies. Without giving too much away, I can say that anyone who has ever loved, anyone who stopped loving them in turn, can see themselves in this book. And I'm sorry, I, I, I just can't stop thinking about Helen Mirren. Dude, you're kidding. She's like a perfect storm. The embodiment of woman, Hera, Aphrodite, Athena, and Artemis combined. And talent, what talent. See how she effortlessly <laughs> See how effortlessly she glides into a role as if she were putty in the master's hand or water in his cup. My God, she must have five mothers and all of them muses. All right, man, focus, man. You, can, you got this. You got this. I believe in you. What great God had spun the light of the sun to fall prostrate about thy face to be worn as a heavenly crown. What was once gold, now white, precious metal replaced by cloud and wind, lies about thy face, though aged to such a fine and elegant line, a painter's brush has made you immortal, and from thy breath all that is worth living escapes into the world but calls your lips home okay man we gotta stay on topic the grace of every animal this mother 
Loving the time of cholera, man. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Cholera is an infection of the small intestine by some strains of the bacterium fibro, cholera. It's caused by drinking Dude, water. you gotta be kidding me. Not cholera. Love in the time of cholera. Love in the time of cholera is the harrowing tale of Florentino Araiza and his lady love, Fermina Daza. It is an offbeat, but dare I say, realistic take on romance. Set in 1800s Colombia. You like how I said that? Colombia. That sounds sexy. Colombia. Florentino is an idealistic, naive, dreadfully unrealistic romantic with no regard for anyone or anything beyond his unrequited love for Fermina. Fermina, on the other hand, is your average woman. Pretty, though not beautiful, as Florentino suggests. Level-headed and given to disappointment. Especially when it comes to her own traditional and often times lackluster ventures in romance. Join them as they overcome the superfluous nature of love and drown in the intrepid waters of compromise, criminality, STDs, and degeneracy. All right, was that good? Are we, are we good here? Dude, that was perfect. Uh, that was, I was getting a little annoyed. Great job, great job. Yeah, I'm, I gotta take a piss. I'll be... Her skin dances in starlight. Alabaster waves of honeyed milk suspended in place by still and timeless marble. Blue eyes, blue and sexy with sea foam, flecks of measured sex and appeal. The first among equals. Beauty by definition. Beauty by right. Helen Mirren. Helen of Troy. Helen of heaven. Helen of hell. Agonies of agonies. Living goddess. Chameleon. Succubus. Saint. Bride of beauty. Bride of light. If you like what you saw, please share, like, and subscribe. And remember, read or die. Alright, that's so stay. That's so stay.